Hey everybody, my name is Shane Adams. I'm president of Artist Accelerator here in Nashville. I am a founding instructor for Berkeley Online teaching their songwriting program. I am so excited to talk to you guys today about learning some songwriting tips, some stuff that it doesn't matter what style you write in, what genre, these tips, these hints, these helps, these will help you no matter what style you're writing. And I've worked with hundreds of writers and I've analyzed thousands of songs. And so I handpicked these very things just for you to make you awesome. And when you're awesome, give me credit. All right, let's get right into it. Favorite things to talk about is, is melody. A lot of times a songwriter only uses the melody that, that falls out of his mouth the first thing that when they start writing a song. Um, but there's some, some really cool tips to accentuate, amplify your melody. Let's talk about them right now. The first thing is almost everybody, for some reason, we are drawn to stability. And on a musical scale, uh, we are drawn to what's called the, the tonic or the root of the key. So, so I'm just gonna play an awesome C scale here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So if I was to write a song in this key, almost every songwriter they automatically, they're drawn to that note. You know, the da na 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 da na 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 And there's nothing wrong with that note. That's, it's, it's a wonderful note to use, but kind of everybody does it. The other note everyone uses is the fifth degree of the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, you know. Da 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 So the color notes, the notes that, that people aren't using as much, but also have just a real vibrancy when, you, when you're writing a song are the second degree of the scale, the third and the sixth. I'm so glad I held up the right amount of fingers. The second, third and sixth notes, they actually provide a little bit of, of, of dissonance in the melody. And a lot of times in, in popular songs, and in actually not just popular songs, but just, just great songwriting in general, like when we hear a song like, oh my gosh, that has a great melody. It, it's usually incorporating these notes, especially as you're starting and, and, and finishing notes. So, so for instance, here's that root note. One, one, two, three, four, five. So here's just, uh, instead of starting on the one, I'll start on the two. One, two. And, and, and again, notice that there's a little bit of dissonance there. Uh, and and we'll, we'll compare. Here is starting on the root. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, 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 right? So, but check this out. Two, two, three, two, two. Two, two, three, two, two. And, and again, there's, there's a little bit of dissonance. And of course, if, if you had an amazing singer, unlike me, that would sound awesome. But most people don't consider that. Uh, let, let's, on, on the third, one, two, three. So three, three. Can you hear, can you hear how there's a, there's a dissonance on that, on that second chord? Three, three, two, two. The other one is a six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, or, or, or going backwards, uh, one, one, seven, six. I'm gonna start there because that's that's more my key. Six, five, six, five, six, five, one. Now, a, a few years ago, I judged a contest. People sent songs from all over the country, all over the world, in fact. And it, it was amazing to me about 75% of the songs that were sent in, their melodies all started on, on that route. And, uh, and, and I would say roughly 15% started on the fifth. So already, if you start your melody on the second, third, or sixth, you're already doing something that, you know, 80%, 90% of other songwriters aren't doing, and so your song is gonna completely stand out. So, super trick number one. 